upstairs to the room. We checked in already to one room, but everything we owned smelled like cigarettes, so we got a different room. It's cloudy. And uh, there's some blue with and lots of trees. Looking forward to uh, some weather changes and uh, a really good time. And I got a cookie. How high? How high are you? Very. You're perfect <laughs> now. Go for it. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I just arrived too. Um, I don't have anything quite as interesting to say as Kimmy just said, but um, it's great to be here. It's my first time at the Twin Peaks Film Festival, and I'm looking forward to it. I understand there's going to be a lot of wonderful folks here who are going to ask me a lot of weird questions about Eraserhead, which I can't answer. So um, I'll do my best, though. I'll do my best, but I'm sworn to secrecy, you know, on certain things. Um, I wish our dear Jack Nance was here, but he's here in spirit, and we'll do our best job to... Um, make everybody feel like they're having a good time. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later, bye. Okay, uh, I guess so we just arrived. We haven't really done anything yet. Uh, maybe maybe was gonna take a bath or something. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. Lost for words, huh? Yeah, <laughs> nothing has really happened at all, you know? I got a hotel room. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? If there's something to react to, I don't know what. You know what I mean? If it's there, it isn't. There it isn't, I guess. Hello. Hello. Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> All right. Cool. I brought it for that bed. There's some guy. Yeah. He said that he was going around while they were filming Firewalk and he was kicked out all the time, you know. He would go on to that set and then he was kicked out. Well, he probably hadn't really been on a movie set before because yeah. if you do it right, you kind of like getting kicked out. <laughs> the charm um, life, he, he had um, yeah. a the charm lot of life. really unusual pictures, you know, that, was, that were published on the internet. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, that I printed some of them. One of them was a picture of Jack Nance sitting on a. Uh, uh, like a fold-up oh, chair, so right across from uh, the, uh, the architect's, you know, the architect's crossroads of so Jack Nash was sitting right across the street from uh, the apartments and said they were doing a shoot with Laura and her father. Right, it's one where they're sitting in the car. They said that there was some building across from the Colonial Inn that they were doing the interior process. The Colonial Inn, they weren't doing any interior Colonial process. apartments. Oh, the apartment building. Okay, you're talking about the Mose Motor. Um, well, it said that they were doing interior shots. Well, the only interior shots really at that point were the Mose Motor. There was an interior where the car was parked. Yeah. And it was kind of like a semi-interior exterior. It was an old theater. And yeah, uh, the they did, yeah, they did the, uh, they did a couple interiors there, which was the interior of Moe's motor. Oh. And other than that. But they never showed the interior of Moe's motor. Well, there was an interior exterior, you know, it was one of those, because they pulled in through the, through the opening. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, then there was a couple other, right by there was the Fat Truck Trailer Park. Yeah. Which they call, like, the, uh... How am I supposed to work that in? <laughs> the, the, uh... Okay. <laughs> I think it's called the Riverview uh, Trailer Park in the Life or effect, but this is where they filmed the Fat Trout, and Teresa's trailer is the blue one that's on. Okay, if this is the trailer, let's yeah, say this is I the main entrance I here. I discovered that. It's, it's right there. Right. That's and then the number six electricity pole is down in the middle, and past there is where Deputy Cliff's trailer was, where Carl Rod puts out the red truck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I found those. Oh. What is the name of Jacques Renault's bird? Yeah. You got it. Okay, this is another one of the, another rock and bottle question. On what name does the rock ricochet off a tree and hit Andy on the head? We're on a tougher difficulty now, so all these are going to be tougher. Uh, Johnny Horn? No. Shelly. Shelly Johnson. 
All right, guys. Got to leave now. It's time for dinner. I'm hungry too. <laughs>